Hey everybody, this is Steve Krause. I'm coming at you from my backyard. Um, it's kind of noisy back here because I'm hearing cicadias going and people sawing things over there or whatever, but it's a lovely day and uh, we're getting near to the end and I thought it was worthwhile for me to celebrate with this final video, um, you know, actually being outside and uh, so, so that's what I'm doing. So what I want to do in this video is we'll outline for you the last week and a half or so of class, really the last week of class, um, just to sort of like touch base with you about a couple of things that you need to do uh, about the end of time and then a reminder about our last gathering uh, at the corner, with, uh, completely optional of course. Um, first off, I'm recording this on Wednesday, or posting this on Wednesday. And uh, as you should have by now, by the end of the day today, you need to complete the second round of the more formal usability testing on your website and post a little brief thing about that on your blog, okay? We've talked about this already, and my guess is that you've been working diligently on your website for the last couple of days, actually probably the last couple of weeks or so. And on by the end of the day today, Wednesday, uh, you should be finished with that second round of usability testing and post a bit about that. Now the last part of the week, the next part of the week, the Wednesday through Friday of this week, is really just all about finishing stuff up. You'll notice there's no reading assignments due. Uh, the only thing that's the only thing that will happen is that you'll begin peer review for part two of the usability text to hypertext project. This is, um, as I explained in the assignment, remember that there are two basic deliverables uh, for the final part of the text to hypertext project. The first is the website itself that you create, whatever it is that you decided to do, um, you know, turning your text into a hypertext. The second major deliverable is a brief essay outlining uh, the sort of experiences that you've had with this throughout the semester. So think of it this way, the posts that you've had about usabilities up to this point have really been just kind of like quick reflections on how it went and, you know, uh, just basic information about that process. This, this last essay should be a little bit more formal uh, maybe draw a reference to some of the readings, make some connections to some issues of style decisions and, and, and uh, also decisions that you made about revising um, your website based on your peer review. That's The peer review for that will start on Friday of this week. Also on Friday, due by the end of the day, is the reflective essay for the social media project. People did peer, peer review for this last week. For the most part, people were pretty good with it, although there were a couple of missing comments. But it looks to me like just about everybody is done with that. And so we're, you know, that those two assignments, I think, are relatively uh, in hand. Next week is week 7.5. It's really just the Monday and Wednesday of the week. And there's really no peer discussion to have, per se. The, the uh, grade that you'll get for participation for that week is all about making sure that you have posted something as part of the participation, as part of the uh, peer review process for your peers and the usability text to hypertext project for that day. But, so you'll need to finish that on Monday, and then lots of stuff happens on Wednesday, August 20th, okay? The first thing that happens is that part two of the usability text to hypertext project is, is due. That has to be, that has to be handed in uh, by 5 p.m. Michigan time, which is the end of time for the course. The second thing that's important is, is that the complete WordPress portfolio project is due. That, too, needs to be done by 5 p.m. August 20th. Just now I meant August 22nd. <laughs> Might have messed up. 22nd. August 22nd. Now, uh, if there's anything else that's outstanding or left for the class, if you owe me some kind of assignment or something like that, um, that too is due by the end of time, which is 5 p.m. Michigan time, August 22nd, 2012. Okay? Now, uh, some of you have had classes from me before, especially online classes from me before, have seen this, but for those of you who haven't, let me explain what I mean by the end of time. At 4.59 on August 22nd, Michigan time, uh, 2012, everything's fine. Uh, the birds are singing, children are playing next door, the air conditioner is turning on, there's animals eating stuff in my garden. It, Everything's fine. Everything's just the way it should be. But at 5 p.m. on August 22nd, Michigan time, time itself ceases to exist. We're sucked into a void, a black hole, nothingness. Ah! <laughs> Scary, isn't it? So, here's what, this is what I mean. 
What I mean is, is that we are going to be completely done with this class by 5 p.m. on August 22nd. And you've heard it several times now. And what that means is, is that hypothetically, if you were to say to me, Steve, is there any way that I could turn in my uh, text to hypertext final project on at, at 7 o'clock on August 22nd? Or can I turn in something on August 23rd? What I would say is, what do you mean? There is no August 23rd. Okay. So this is important because for all practical purposes, everything has to come to an end at some point. One last thing about this end of time thing, I've also set aside uh, that day, August 22nd, 5 p.m., beyond the end of time, as an optional get-together celebration of the end of class um, at the Corner Brewery in Ypsilanti. Now, um, it's really kind of up to you in terms of like how, who wants to show up for it. Um, I'm always game for these sorts of things, and it's always nice to meet people face-to-face -face and, and to uh, celebrate the end of a good, a good semester. And if and I'm going to have a poll underneath here. Um, if you're going to show up, or if you think you're going to show up, vote yes in the poll. If you know you're not going to show up either because, for whatever reason, uh, vote no in the poll. And if you don't know, vote I don't know. Um, as long as there's a majority of people who say yes or I don't know, we'll go ahead and meet. Uh, if it's not, then, you know, we'll just, that's what people want to do is they don't necessarily want to meet. So. Um, I, I, I think that's. I think that uh, that, that should make sense. Um, okay, uh, I think we're done. Um, it's been a really great semester. Um, if you have any other questions, concerns, feelings, emotions, whatever else that you are running into as we wrap up the last week of class, please by all means chime in here and or send me email. Let me know. Uh, that's why I get paid big bucks to help people out. Um, otherwise, I will uh, see you online and see some of you in the fall. Bye.